Well, Romeo and Juliet was um, something that was probably mooted a long time ago. You know, we've done a lot of the big classic ballets, I suppose, in our rep, and it was often mentioned over the years. But I sort of resisted it quite a long time, feeling there were lots of versions of it around in different mediums as well, not just dance. Mm -hmm. I thought it was hard to find an impetus, you know, that was exciting. And um, it was the suggestion that we cast the show very young that made it suddenly seem right and exciting. That little idea of casting it young then developed into a much bigger thing with not only casting younger members of my company, professional dancers, giving them the opportunity to create roles and developing them as artists. Also taking on board a lot of new young professionals who not worked with us before. Then the idea of working with young people in each city that we go to, finding great talent, emerging talent, young people who are probably in training but have not graduated yet, to see if we could find the next generation of talent there. And finally, the idea of working with young associate artists, with each of the members of our creative team, who all sort of embraced it really quickly as well. So working with a young associate choreographer has been an amazing experience for me with Arielle Smith, she's wonderful. Um, but also all the other uh, creatives have really taken us on board in design and music. And all areas of the production seems to be about talent development. So that's the exciting thing about it. And it's a show about young people. Romeo and Juliet is about young love. Quite often portrayed by people who are not that young. <laughs> so it's quite good to actually try and express what young people are really like. That's, that's become the exciting thing about it, I think, for me. The first cast we're working with is the Leicester cast. And we have six young people, ranging from 16 to 19. And they've been plunged into the deep end, really, because they're our guinea pigs, as it were. They're the first group of young people that we're working with while we're staging Romeo and Juliet. So the first Saturday they came in and they met all the company, I could see that there were a few rabbit in headlights, like, oh my goodness, this is quite a thing. Um, but actually, every Saturday that we've worked with them during the rehearsal period, they've got more relaxed, and because they know people, it's become easier. I think it's definitely been challenging for them um, because we repeat everything so many times. We'll set something and then we'll repeat it. Um, and I don't think they're used to that kind of level of performance and I think after the first day they were pretty exhausted because they hadn't realised how difficult it is to work in this kind of professional environment and we are treating them actually like professionals so we're expecting the same high standard from them as we are from our professional dancers which I think is good for them actually because we're asking them to step up um, to be on the same level as the professionals and of course that's really scary but it's been quite interesting as well. It's sort of incalculable really, the, the experience I think of being involved in a brand new show. In some ways I'm not sure people always understand how rare that is. I mean I don't do a new show every year, it's every three or four years really. And it's very difficult to be involved with something, very, very few opportunities to be involved in something new. And I think in some ways the, the younger cast will appreciate this in years to come more of what they actually learn from it. They're all taking it on board like young people do at the moment. You know, they've got to do it, they've got to get on with it, they've got to make it work, they've got to become part of the company. All audiences are expecting is a new adventures show. They're not expecting to see anything but the highest quality of performers and, and production. So it is quite a tall order in many ways. Mm -hmm.